This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Um, so here you can able to see that uh, the report. Okay. So I just uh, made it some one simple. Uh, what is it? Uh, your work task. Okay. So based on the performance. Okay. So I got that file. Uh, uh, Sanjana. Okay. Right. So um, your presentation is really good. Uh, I just appreciate that. And still, I'm not received uh, some of the people's work. Uh, okay, so the person is, but I'm not received. Uh, it is a Clyde Sana and uh, Streya and Shakti and Tanya, Trisha, Mandita, Meghna, Dolga. So I'm not received uh, uh, your practical works. Okay, make sure that uh, what is that? <coughs> complete your task. Okay, so. Uh, as soon as possible, you can make it. Um, what is that? Send that file, and you can make your public profile as should be it stronger. Okay, fine. So I hope you can able to still that the people not had done. Okay, make it uh, right. You can uh, complete the task. Okay, fine. So right, let's start our session. Okay, we will uh, begin from that last sessions which we uh, made it as uh, only one report. Okay, so. Get this data visualizations file. I'll continue in that uh, in our new folder. Tableau session nine. Okay, and then uh, in our WhatsApp group, I sent uh, some three files, uh, three source files which I sent it. Uh, one is the retail data, so that is uh, previously which I sent in our group. Uh, same file. Um, and then uh, still two more files which I sent it as a, one more concept we're going to start today. Uh, one is a first file, that is a first Excel file. And one more Excel file name can be called as a second. Okay, right? So the two files, uh, I can get it from the data set. Uh, one is first and second and then our retail data. Okay, in our tableau sessions, I just paste. Okay. So now, okay, fine. Let's start. So we can continue from that our last session. Okay, right. So now I can close this data set. Tableau. So session number nine, I'll start that uh, data visualization process. Okay, fine. Um, this is the data visualizations we done it from last session. Uh, we find it that average sales and then average uh, profit and then average discounts. These things we just worked on it. Okay, so we made it this uh, average sales and then uh, everything will convert it into that average. Okay, so here you can able to find from the below in that measures values average sales and average profit and then average discount okay so this is one on simple presentations here and then uh, from the top from this location what i will do i'll just make some presentations here that means uh, for the format okay here i can just click on this edit title okay so place a cursor here just make it right click and choose uh, edit title okay so the moment um, what i can do you can just write that average so it's based on that first one is sales and second one is for the prop what is the profit and 
next one is for the discount. So I can just select the, all the words. I can make it bold and then I can make it presentation as in a white in the center of the locations. Okay. So little I can extend that font size and apply and click OK button. Okay. Right. So just for a uh, heading, okay, for the sheet title, we just added that average sales profit and discount it is. Okay, fine, right. So I'll press Control S. Okay, this is already we done it from last sessions. Now we'll continue for that one more presentation for our dashboards. Okay, so now here I can click that one more new sheet. Here I can right click. I can able to go for that uh, renaming the table. So again, last already we just done it that state wise, right? That uh, US state wise. So same similar. I'm going to uh, make it ready. So state wise, it has to work for the profit. Okay, I can uh, make the convert some formats here. We need to follow that. So again, we're going to uh, make a mark uh, that location wise. Okay, so how to convert? Let's start. From here, you can able to find a state. I just uh, click and then I can able to make it drag here. So I told you, right? So sometimes the locations will not be get, uh, uh, what is that? Automatically will not be get detected. Okay, so here it is making that 48 uh, unknowns results are here from the bottom of the corners. So I'll just click, I can change that location, edit location. So I hope you people has done that uh, the same exercises from the previous sessions. Okay, again I'm going to repeat uh, some few different ways. Okay, I can able to choose uh, what is that? Here you can choose fixed US. Make it states and click OK. So automatically uh, it will get make a mark for the all the state wise okay so little bit i can able to make a zoom back okay, right? so now so what i need i can able to choose this map uh, for making that color wise presentations so second map uh, you just click on it it makes that some color for the presentation wise and now uh, i need to be uh, make a mark for the state wise in different colors take a state and I can able to apply into that sections. So what has happened automatically the colors uh, for that all the states it's worked. Okay. So for that uh, already we done it for the state wise different colors we worked. So not required it. Okay. So this moment uh, I don't want that color wise uh, for the state. Okay. For the sorry for the state wise I don't want to make a different colors. So for that we can able to go for one more. I can take that profit okay you can take a profit and you can able to apply into that label sections so what has happened uh, all the what is it all the states it contains that uh, some of the profit okay so my target is we are working with that average not for the sum so what i'm telling here just place a cursor and uh, go to that measures convert into that average for me okay right so just you can convert into that average and next i want the state names select the state and you can able to apply into that labels okay right so this moment you can able to uh, get that uh, uh, what is that information about that the state okay which one will have that uh, uh, more number of uh, profits okay right so better much more so now I want that average in that different colors. Okay, for average wise, I want to find out that colors wise. So take a profit and then you can just apply into that color sections. Okay, right. So immediately you can able to see that some different colors, right. So that profit I just applied into that uh, the particular uh, color sections. Again, I'm going to convert into uh, measures into average. Okay, right. For average wise, I just classified. Okay, right. And then just change the color. So from the right hand side, one, once if you drag that moment, you can see some of the colors is generated here. 
okay so just click on this uh, double click on this colors board and make it drop down button and i can prefer this green gold apply and then okay button okay right so some for your presentations wise okay you can choose uh, whatever the colors if you want orange gold or something you can able to prefer okay for the color range and then go to that map and background maps i can able to make a dark or something okay so i can go for dark only for this color wise right uh, i can able to convert into some different colors okay much better so little bit okay so this particular Uh, state contains minus value, so that is what it is given in that particular color. What is it? Uh, something like gray color format. Okay, so it is in minus profit. Okay, so this is one uh, kind of uh, the map chart. Okay, so last we worked under what is that? Uh, state color wise, and then sales wise also we worked, I guess. Okay, so this is for the profit wise. Just you can change that. Uh, what is that? Uh, you are measures. Okay. and then from here you can able to find for that text wise i need to uh, work something like that okay i i want to make it in that uh, dollar format or currency format or uh, rupee or inr that type of format if i want to assign here go to format and uh, click on this shading and here you can able to find that uh, what is that average Uh, profit okay right so select on this average profit and here you can make it as numbers so all that values contains that single digit right after the decimal points if you want to make a mark or i can change that font color with some different colors if it is okay with that you can able to select that font and make it bold can choose black it's the background is getting black choose this the average profit Okay, I'll just take the symbol. Uh, in currency custom, I'll just remove that. I'll just paste it that R value, and then by default decimal points in that two. I'll just make it as one, and then I 
because of the font style it is not working uh, the colors state Maybe that the theme which we applied, we can go for some other colors. Or... Okay, for this moment it okay fine so this moment it's almost quite uh, okay make it clear okay fine so this is one more chart uh, already we done it okay the same uh, the charts we worked okay so you just see to that from the left hand side average profit and then uh, it is in available in colors and then average profit is in the text and state in the text and then it is a detailed tool okay once if you place the cursor you can able to see that in detailed values okay right so almost uh, from before you done it i guess so the same presentation work it, it is not that much of difficult it is okay so everyone is understand for this mapping work is it clear yes sir yeah fine so the same format i just repeated okay so there is no uh, much more uh, new concepts here okay so now next uh, one more uh, design we can able to make it ready uh, for that right click i can able to make a table design right so we have to work for the table design um, for this table so still more for this table design i can able to make it for region and then along with year wise okay so for the table design we need to work on it uh, that is based on that region and then it is based on that what is it years okay so this is that third design we're going to work it now okay fine so let's start for the third design is it clear for all shakti uh, suravi kritika uh, kirti alia anitya yes is it clear fine good shreya sanjana uh, manvita fine yeah perfect let's start okay right okay right so let's continue that our table design formats so i'll just minimize this okay so from the left hand side you can able to find that uh, the field the name is region okay so what we can able to do i'll just drag and then i applied into that uh, in our workspace okay so here you can able to find uh, region central uh, east and then uh, what is that south and then west okay right so we have that uh, uh, some of the data here from different region wise now okay region i have okay fine so i need to be find out in that year wise okay right so how to make with this different uh, colors and making as in a profit uh, how to display okay so here uh, you can able to find that uh, order date right okay you can able to find order date okay so from there we can able to get that information from the left hand side you can able to have that order date okay the region i just drag i imported in that workspace for the order date you just drag and then you can able to apply it into that uh, what is that column sections okay fine so here you can able to find that uh, what is it 2012 and 2013 and 2014 and 15 okay so we can able to make still little uh, what is that filters okay so same similar way in which we worked from some few classes previously same we can repeat now so now I don't want in year wise, in year, in quarter wise, I want to be, uh, work on it. Okay. In that particular year of 2012. Okay. Right. So I want to know that quarter. Okay. In that uh, month wise or uh, in that month, in that 
day wise or whatever it is okay so once if you done it you can see that uh, the thing it is like one small uh, the plus operator you can able to find it in that uh, year order date you can able to make it visible as one plus that means if you click that moment automatically it will makes that quarters okay right so quarter 1 2 3 and 4 okay right so it will be divided okay right it will be divided into that uh, four months okay so based on the things is get divided okay as a quarter so from that 2000 uh, what is it 12 to uh, 13 14 and 15 now i don't want 15 i i want only 2012 13 and 14 okay right so you need you, you can find that right uh, filter sections so you can drag that order date you can just apply into that filters you can leave off and choose that years in which year if you don't want you please uncheck that okay right if you uncheck you can able to find the 2012 13 14 and 15 if i don't want 12 i can remove that i can select 13 14 and 15 okay from this uh, three sections i want to know about that in quarter wise where i'm getting more profits okay that's a concepts i can click this apply button and okay button now you can able to see to that in that table design uh, for the region wise uh, central east south i just classified into that 2013 and 2014 and then last one is 2015 so little uh, we can able to make it stretch here from this format i can select the standard you can go and click on this fit with okay right so that moment uh, it will get stretch little bit okay you can able to see to that it's clear um, what is that uh, the values you can able to understand okay fine is it clear for everybody or or else i want to repeat again one more time is it clear so can you please repeat yeah sure okay, one second i'll just make it mark as uh, control z so from here we can find as in 2012 13 14 and 15 okay so i want in quarters okay in quarters in the sense uh, in a year okay i can able to divide into that uh, four quarters okay right so that means uh, i can divide into that 4 4 4 4 uh, okay so right so, or we can able to divide into that 3 uh, or 6 or it is based on that uh, the work okay right so we can able to classify it into that sections okay right so the moment when you are working that place as in that 3 okay right so we can able to work as 3 3 3 3 okay so you can able to make it as 12 months okay that's a four quarters okay right so we can customize it but here i can see to that um, what is it the plus operator is there right so just click on that immediately it will take in a quarters okay so q1 and then from here you can able to see that one more plus if you click january february march okay and second quarters of the 2012 april may june and next quarters july august september next quarters october november and december so it is divided into that 3 3 3 3 as a four quarters okay right so from this plus operator i will I, i don't want i will uncheck it if you want you can expand and you can see to that uh, that q1 is taking from which are the months are there okay right so now i have that four quarters in that 2012 and 2013 four quarters in 2014 again four quarters and 2015 again so i, I don't want 2015 quarters or 12 any year if you want to see that exact period of year from the left hand side you can pick up this order date you just apply into that filter sections okay fine so if you applied into that filter sections so that moment it will makes that filter that mean filter field as one small window select the years and click next button so i don't want that 2012 i can remove that particular year and i will click apply and click okay button so what is happened i removed the 2012 so i just made it for 2013 and 14 and 
is it 15 okay right so this I, I i don't want to make it this space should be get blank okay right so i need to be make it expand that from the top of the menu you can find that word as standard make it drop down menu and choose it as fit width okay so that moment uh, the values all the things will be get expanded okay fine is it clear now yes yeah fine okay and then uh, we'll continue now now here for that each quarters i want to know that average profit okay right so from that each quarters i want that average profits so here from the left hand side you can get that uh, measures as a profit just drag the profit and then you can just apply into that workspace okay immediately what is happened all the values will be set in that format of what is it some formats okay right i don't want to sum i need to be present the data by in measures and then in average okay fine now i can able to get that all the values in that average profit uh, for the central uh, one out 8.4 in that three months of the quarters and the next quarters so something okay right so some different different the values which are we just displayed here right now still we can able to apply some more few designs let's start now i converted now i want all the values should be there in that uh, what is that uh, our Indian currency format. Okay, right. So from here in that average profit, you just click on it, and you can able to find that options can be called as uh, sorry this one. You can find that word as profit. Okay. So click on this profit. Now, from here uh, that numbers. Okay, right. So here you can able to find numbers and go to that currency custom. And I just remove that prefix here. I just added the dollar. I, I don't want uh, what is a two decimal points. Okay, right. So I'll just remove that decimal points. If you want one, that means as zero. No issues. You can make it as zero. Okay, for our presentations, so let it be there as zero. Okay, I don't want uh, any zeros here uh, after the decimal points. So I just made it as a decimal point as zero. Okay, fine. So once if you've done it. And what I am going to supposed to do, and from here, in that formatting, and I'm going to choose shading color. Okay, I, I'm going to choose some different colors for the shading. Okay, I, I'll prefer this the complete background as something like some different colors which I given here. Okay, for our presentations here, right, and then. Still more, we need to go for some edit process here for the fields as a quarters. Okay, from here we can able to find that uh, quarters. Click on this quarters, and I can able to make a bold. Okay, right. So from that Q uh, one eight Q two Q three Q four, everything will be uh, get converted into that bold here, and then. If you want, you can make it some different colors for the presentations. Make it red, uh, whichever the color if it is suitable. It, okay, you can able to leave off, or else you can able to change it. Okay, I can make it bold as for that ten. Okay, now I applied that order date and year wise that 2013 and 14 and 15. Okay, so this I need to be make it little bold. And I can increase that size. And next, for the values, I can choose average profit. For that middle of the values, I'll make it bold here. So these are the formats. You can just start work with that. And then for that alignment, it is an automatic i can make it as in center location and for the region also i need to make it little format so go to fields click on this region uh, make it bold so uh, 
not require that much of bigger things. Okay, fine. Right. So once if you've done this little formats, okay, for making that, uh, uh, what is that, uh, bold, height, width, and uh, all kinds of property, and right hand side you can able to see that, show me. In that is the first we are working with that, that's a default, uh, sorry, it's not recommended, it's a first text format, it's a first chart, right? Try for that, this chart, that means the third chart, okay, right? So that moment, you can see that some of the colors which is in dark blue so those places you are getting that more profit uh, from the average wise okay right is it clear for everyone i want to repeat again one more time shall i repeat one more time okay perfect so in color wise, yeah, uh, Kritika, uh, Manvita, Sanjana, are you, are you getting my point, right? So how to work with, uh, what is it, as table design? Yeah, Nitya, yes, perfect. Okay. Right, so let's continue then. Fine, fine. So now uh, this, uh, why because uh, from the first is black, second is also little black. Uh, why I need this color? Okay, let's convert into that uh, uh, black itself. Okay, let it go as black. Okay, we we'll change that uh, the font colors also in that region. Okay, I, I, I can change this font style. And then for ear wise also we can change as a font style. Okay, I can able to go for the quarters. Then I can change it as, as ear. And then for the order date, again, I can convert into that year's format. Okay, let it be there. And uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not happy with this uh, this particular colors, uh, with this blue or something. Uh, here, I just given this type of color and here uh, we take in. So better if this type color, it is available, it's okay. So for that same presentation, it will, so different, different colors, it won't be looks as a presentation wise. So I can carry that uh, the same color which I used from last. Uh, I hope this color. Yeah, fine. Okay, right. So now it's yeah, it, it's quite good. So now here now you can able to see that. So the colors which is getting that white color. For the profit wise we are not happy with that quarters okay in 2000 uh, what is it 13 in third quarters okay in that west region i'm not getting that much of profit okay and same similar kind in 2014 in that first quarter of q1 okay in that region of central i'm not get that profit wise so we can easily we can understand that uh, in that year wise in which quarter I didn't get that that much of profit and easily I can able to understand in which quarter I got more profit in that okay in central region in Q3 I got that more profit in that so the value is uh, what is that 321 uh, average is that my average amount okay that is what uh, for this presentation's work we supposed to work on it okay so this table uh, from that, we'll just double click. I can erase. I can mark it as table design and region based on that year profit. I'll select. Make it as in center and I'll go for Y. I'll click on apply, then I'll close off this. Okay, fine. So these are the things. I'll press Ctrl S. So table design, region here, state wise profit, and from here also I can check. State wise. Okay. 
okay so from here uh, what i'll do in shading i can make it as uh, okay so full huh? right so uh, sorry first i can put that well because for the shade you can make it as is white it will be looks fine okay fine all good so now we just find it that sales and uh, state wise and then for the table design we find it that quarter wise okay right so table design region and year is profit which is applied in that quarters right and if you expand it you can able to still you can see that in more okay in january uh, how much and you can able to find it okay right so in which month you can able to make it more target okay right so that moment uh, this uh, operations it will be very useful for you okay right so i just get back to that original data okay right? so you just click that plus operator you can see to that uh, in that quarter 1 january february uh, march okay how much you uh, got that profit in that uh, which month it is so that is you easily you can able to target okay fine perfect right so now you have to start to work with this design same similar kind okay so you can go with that dashboard okay right so now um, and then uh, i seen uh, in some of that your presentations okay so the people who done it that ipl matches okay fine i i really appreciate that your work and uh, some of the people you customized to that um, the images you downloaded and uh, uh, you placed to that particular things yeah i i i, re I really happy about your work okay right so that is what uh, the thing we have to work on it okay right so that It, it it's really it's really that visualization when we can see that presentation itself we can able to understands that which team that little bit image is also it is very very important okay right so that is the thing we have to work okay fine so same similar kind now uh, here you can able to find that um, what is that uh, average sales now i just make it little uh, full screen view mode now i can uh, go to that uh, what is that floating okay you can just choose that floating operations and take the sales and you just apply it here and you can make it mark to that full screen from your presentations here okay so from the top you just leave off the corners okay so no need to uh, Uh, why because no cover that why because i need some my like, company name so same similar kind what you done it from the previous sessions so let it be there as some few spaces over there from the top of the menu okay right so for that i just left okay all good so you can make it little customized in the dashboards okay and second wise in that state wise place it here little bit uh, for visualizations you can make it here this okay so what is happening when i'm uh, moving that my average is not working with that okay right so what we can do uh, from this second chart is there right can you see the problem so the problem is when i'm dragging this map so it it's getting overlapping okay right so one we can able to send it from the background so i will place it here you are getting me point clear i'll just place it here you just leave off automatically it will be considered as uh, what is it then you are dragging the moment it will show as an overlap and leave off that white space okay it will be considered as automatically it is in some different formats okay and still that state wise the profit the names okay right so that is making that sense right okay let's start i'll do the right click here okay so if you have uh, i don't want to do that copy and uh,
Mm. Okay, so here why you need that colors? Okay, so here can you see that uh, in that one small arrow mark? Can you find it uh, in that map chart? You can see to that one small arrow mark from this particular location. It's there, right? So click on this arrow mark and go to that floating order and send backward. Okay, you just click on this option. Now you can just try that whether it is get applied. That's it fine. Right? Can you see that? I want to repeat again one more time. Is it clear for everyone? Can, can you please repeat? Yeah, fine. Sure. Now, you just see to that what is the problem which I'm facing here. Uh, when I'm bringing that, that particular state wise, right, uh, for my presentation here. So this, that, that white space, can you see that? Okay, that white space is, makes a sense. It is not uh, making that perfect design for my uh, dashboard. Okay, right. So a little bit when I drag, so here, uh, when I can go for little I'll expand some. Okay, fine. Now you can see to that, uh, when I have that, uh, the data, that white space, uh, this, uh, I, I don't want this profit. Okay, this logo I just removed. Okay, now when I go for this presentation, you see that that white space it makes the sense. Okay, I don't want, I want to continue from this position. Okay, in that particular box. Okay, that moment my dashboard looks it's uh, much better, right? So here, what I'm telling you, just click this uh, map, you can able to find the small arrow mark. Can you see that that arrow mark? So click on this arrow mark from there below the filter and go to that floating order and choose send backwards. So that moment what will happen, this image will get, go background. That means this chart will go backside. Now you can drag, you just make it in that perfect line with that continuity, just leave off. That's it. Now you can see that that white space, you can't able to see that. Okay, fine. That's all. This is one simple trick. Okay, you can able to send that image backward and then you can able to find it. Okay, right. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. Good. For everybody, is it clear, right? Yeah. Is it clear? Fine. Yeah. Sanjana, Nitya. Yes, fine. Right. So we'll continue now. Okay. So now from this uh, below that location, I want the third design. So what you want to make it in that uh, right hand side filter. Okay. So we, we, we'll make it uh, some other uh, work. But anything we can uh, for the presentations. Uh, what is that pie chart, bar chart? You can able to place it off. No issues. You can create. So I will make it as empty uh, for this space for your presentations. Okay, I want one, uh, what is that, one presentation logo, anything, okay, any charts you can make it, whether if you want tree map, you can able to apply, right, anything, or if you want, uh, uh, what is it, bar chart, anything, but this is what you are, work, any chart you can able to place it over there, okay, fine, right, so now, I'll just make it, let us scroll down, and then the table design is there, right, that table design, I will make it, and I will place it here, in this locations same similar kind i can just make it drag from the full screen okay i i, I don't want to do that view okay right and same similar kind uh, i'll click this one and go for the floating order and choose as send backward now sorry Okay, okay, and this uh, presentation is not required. I, I'll remove it off. Now I'll just make it little. Okay, for my reference, I'll take this part. From the left hand side, that corner for the adjustment, I'll use this. 
Yeah, fine. That's it. Okay, right? Now I'll expand that as per the design which you want. You just expand that it will fulfill the data you can see that that's it that is the entire design it is now here you can uh, select this just leave off automatically uh, it will take some spaces or if you want you can make it full okay fine and then little i can make it here Okay, for the scrolling also no issues okay fine now now you can able to go and see to that your presentations so scroll is also is works fine and then make it your company name from this right hand side logo uh, this is that complete dashboard uh, how we can able to present our data okay right in proper alignment and i i don't want to see that any spaces here and then uh, here you can able to make it uh, uh, what is that any charts like for the presentation voice so now when i see that i can understand that in my business work for how much average sales has happened and how much average profit i got and how much average discount and in state wise in which state i got more profit in that average wise in which state i lost uh, in profit wise okay so in design wise and then I have some three V, what is it, years, 2013 and 14 and 15, in which are the regions, in which are the quarters I got uh, loss in that profit wise. Okay, so those type of informations we can easily understandable uh, in that particular dashboard. Okay, so what I said, I said I just given one work for you. Okay, from here, uh, here, okay, in this place. You can able to place a company image is also no issues okay right that company making some export or something okay so what i will do here i can make it i just type it okay some some company okay right so something like export or something uh, i'm just taking that uh, one image for the presentation wise i'll do the right click i can go with that uh, save image as uh, in my desktop i'll save here okay from this location uh, what i'll do i'll just take this image here why because everything is floating right you can able to make it bring it here and it is telling that you have to choose the image i can choose the image here in my desktop location Yeah, so this one I can select. I can go with that apply and then OK. I'll just little bit I can able to uh, increase that image. OK, let it be there. No issues. OK, so we can customize that image. That arrow mark again. Click that arrow mark. Set a center image and then um, go for edit. Uh, maybe that image resolution issues okay fine uh, again uh, okay once again maybe that that image resolution issues Okay, the sizes are just 6, 1, 12 into 340. I need something like more than that HD images property. 
that moment uh, it makes better resolution okay this i'll do the right click Now I can drag that image here. Now I can choose, sorry, sorry. I can go for the choose thousand image center and apply and uh, OK button. Yeah, still almost OK. But still, we need some more uh, high quality image pictures. Okay, so we can't uh, make with that sense. Okay, fine. Uh, no issues. Okay, up to that. Okay, so uh, okay, so not required the space. I'm just telling. Okay, I, I don't want to see that uh, any white spaces. Okay, right. So it is, should be like complete design, or in that white space also you can be able to fill it something like. The name of the companies okay so making that more presentation wise i'll click that uh, text here okay right so i'll just click the text i can make it placing here so the text what i will do private limited something okay fine i'll just make it bold and then making uh more in size and apply okay so this okay so this type of things uh, format text to objects okay you can see to that uh, where you want to see that whether you want to see that in left or if you want to go for right hand side okay right so this type of alignments you can able to work with that in that particular point okay so let it be there as text format and again click click on this edit text you can make it bold or some other different font styles uh, if you want to do the presentations okay so i'll click ok button control s now you can go for this presentation Okay, almost okay fine good and from here you can make it your email address and make your uh, what is it mobile number and contact so this is that as a dashboard we can able to consider okay right so yeah previous things what we done it okay that is also okay fine it's cool but for the professionally if you want to work with some dashboards as for the business wise So this is that main target we have to work on it in Tableau. So I just increase the font size. Also, so. And then from here for the format in dashboard okay so default color is white now I can make it everything into that the part black or something okay right so here it's gone black and here so you just check with that which one is suitable okay so that based on that you can able to set for it in format in dashboard also you can able to make it lot of uh, background colors also you can able to apply so as per my design for this is okay that's it okay right so that is that uh, one dashboard we can able sorry excuse me this is the so 
okay so now for this dashboards is like looks uh what is that uh like in a, a business wise uh, i can able to work on it okay so if the people we are in that uh, any kind of uh, business sites for that hr or financials or we are we are working in that particular moment okay so this is that very very important thing uh, working with this dashboards with uh, doing this works and all okay it will be easy makes for you are uh, professionally you can able to build that your technical things okay right so for your career wise it will be very easy for us okay is it clear for everyone any doubts so everybody you just please uh, uh, in uh, enter into that uh, chat window box is it clear i hope uh, this concept is little interesting from today uh, uh, shakti and surabhi priti alia nitya shreya then uh, sanjana manvita kritika yeah is it clear any doubts fine right all good right right fantastic okay right right good okay so um uh, still we can find some few um 735 okay fine i'm just planning to uh, start one more uh, uh, interesting subject okay fine so i'll just give that one introductions today uh, i yeah, why because uh, we can't able to uh, complete it. it will go for incomplete process but i'll just give that overview uh, what we can able to uh, work from tomorrow okay right so that just outline i'll let you know now okay so we can go for the task number 2 let's start okay i'll just minimize this uh where is that art no uh, i will save this file okay so this is the type which i need from everyone as for the dashboard for the business data visualizations okay right so you can make it as as business wise this is a very very important okay fine right so what is a task number 2 uh, shall we go for the task 2 for introduction just a little uh brief i will let you know that okay i am not going to start today uh, why because uh, that uh, visualization it is really difficult you can sit and you can concentrate on it okay uh, this task we will put into that uh, tomorrow sessions uh, we have some limited times we can't able to work that much of time okay fine uh, i can go with that tableau in our sessions here you can see to that two files which i have Uh, one is first okay okay here, here you can able to see that i have one file the file is uh, name as excel uh, this i'll just make it uh, make it in the left hand side so uh, i'll just close this okay this is one in second can you see that this excel screen is it visible right so two screens i just divided from the left hand side and right hand side okay right so can you see the screen is it visible yeah, is it that excel screen is visible for everyone yes sir yeah fine okay so now this is the concept so here i have two excel files in previous sessions what we done we concentrated on only one file right uh, we not taken uh, multi uh, sheets okay right so how we can able to work with that so th there is one concept you can think about it okay right now uh, example sorry 
Okay, right. So based on that, for our names, we can able to uh, make it clear. Okay, so there is that one uh, uh, manager you think uh, is, the name is Shakti. Okay, so that manager is working in that one region. Okay, example uh, in Karnataka. Okay, right. So the person is working in Karnataka, in particular uh, in one uh, what is that? Uh, in one city. Okay, in Bangalore you think. Okay, and one more um, what is that? Region manager. Okay, um, Surabhi. Okay, so this person is working in uh, uh, what is that? Uh, in um, Tamil Nadu, in one uh, city. Okay, right. So um, example Chennai, and one more um, what is that? Region manager uh, Kriti. Okay, so the person is working in uh, what is that? Andhra Pradesh, in one um, what is that city in Hyderabad? Okay, right. So I have some three people as example. Okay, fine. So these three people are working in my different regions. Okay, right. So I given one Excel sheet for first person Shakti and Surabhi and then Kriti. Okay, so I have three Excel sheets. I want to know about that what is my total sum of sales, and I just want to know about that what is my total sum of uh, what is that uh, profit, and then um, I, I I just want to know that my entire business which is there in the different region wise not in one single excel sheets okay this is the concept so how to make it all the three sheets or 10 sheets or 100 sheets you can able to make it blend that is that name can be called as as a technically we can able to suppose to call us data blending okay so that is that data blending is very powerful and the tool we can able to work in tableau okay right so this data blending in tableau you can able to bring that uh, number of data from number of sheets and you can able to find that your total sales amount okay right so now i'm the person i'm the head of the person in that all the regions now i suppose to need to get that information as soon as possible i don't want to write any formulas okay fine. why i need to write the formulas okay i have an uh, uh, what is a tableau applications i don't want to write any uh, some ifs, I don't want to write anything. Okay, right. So, in one line, but we're going to write a formula here for this particular work, what I said to find the total sales. But little in Tableau, it is very easy. Okay, right. So, how we can able to make a connections for that, uh, what is it, for the, all the region wise. Okay, so the first region for the Bangalore to Chennai, I'm going to connect from the Chennai to uh, Hyderabad, I'm going to connect. So, those type of information how we can able to connect that all the regions, how we can make it that total sales. That is the concepts here. Okay, right. So for that, is it clear for everyone? Okay, uh, do you getting that point, right? What I said? Okay, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. For everybody, is it clear, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, fine. Fine, perfect. Yeah, fine, good. So, fine. Good. So, let's let's give me that one more uh, brief about it. So, here I have that product and then state and then sales. Okay. So, in that one state in Karnataka, I got that uh, maybe that one product. Okay. Uh, maybe the product is TV, you think. Okay. Right. So, in that second place, uh, it is not a tv it is there some other different product you think about it okay uh, what i can tell example um, uh, what is a bike you can think okay right so in karnataka uh, for one person i am just telling them to sell the tv okay right in same karnataka location in one of that region person i am telling to sell that bike okay right so i want that what is the total cost of in that particular sheet of Karnataka and that means that amount has to be get added okay for example okay I, I don't want the same amount okay for, for sample I just given that same amount it should be maybe different you think okay so what I need I want to be added this 3916 that is my target okay I, I'll just make it little uh, uh, make it uh, format I'll show it okay I want to add this 3916 amount I supposed to be added with this uh, what is that? Seven five double zero amount. I need to be added in that same column. So, so 
Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just working in that particular school. Yeah. Fine. Okay. So now I have that sales 3916 in that first sheet. And then uh, 7500, I am in that uh, second sheet of that. Okay. So this two I need to add and I need to find that my total sales in Karnataka. Same similar kind. How to work with others? Uh, uh, Maharashtra and Odisha and Punjab and then Kerala and Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh and Kerala. So those informations we can able to find it and then finally we can build that our uh, India maps. Okay, right. So in which state I got uh, more sales. So those, again, uh, it's, it's almost we are finding with that same concept like uh, creating the maps. Uh, what is it? Creating the tables and those type of informations. Most of the time we are working with the same process. So let's go for that from next sessions from tomorrow. How we can able to make it still more information about this type of process. How to work with that? Data planting. Okay, this process we will see to that. How to work with this data planting in Tableau process. Okay, I hope uh, you people understand this concepts from today uh, for this data uh, business wise visualizations and then uh, what I'm coming to telling this data blending in Tableau. Okay, right. So from tomorrow we can able to um, start work with this and how we can able to make the presentations. Let's see. Okay. Uh, anybody have any doubts here? Is it clear for everyone? So please enter into the yes. chat window. Yeah, fine. Yeah. And for all and Shakti and Surabhi and Alia, Nitya, Shreya, Sanjana, Manvita, Kritika. Is it clear for everybody? Fine. Good. I appreciate it. Yes. yes. Sanjana. Okay. Fine. Okay. And then um, some more few people since they are not attending the uh, sessions, I guess. Um, what is her name? Her name? Tanya. And then um, Trisha, I guess. Um, then Meghna. Okay. Um, I, I hope only these three people, I guess. Uh, today, one more person is Clyde Sana, I guess. Right? Yeah. Yeah, fine. So, four members, I guess. Yeah, four members, they are not attending to them. Fine. Right. Yeah, okay, fine. All good. So, let's start. So, I'll mark that attendance. Okay, yeah, fine. Okay, I marked it. Right. So, now for this uh, work, you can make it uh, concentrate on that work. Okay, fine. So, for that, we will start work with that. And then, uh, please make sure that your task again i'm just telling okay right uh, concentrate on your task and then uh, make it as uh, beautiful things okay right uh, so everybody uh, i hope uh, you can understand this data flow okay so make your um, what is it I'm, I'm not telling you that make to fill your work okay right so don't uh, make that it is an empty column okay you are you are uh, attending that uh, session in the sense you are putting that you are effort right so take some of if in case sir i, I couldn't be able to have a laptop so in case just um what is it go to your college and then uh, sit for some hours right so you can able to have that all the references videos okay you can try to um what is it fill your uh, effort as in that number one and then make your performance rating is better here okay right i hope you can understand this okay right so I just wait for your work and just uh, uh, I'll end up the session today. Okay, all good. So we'll continue from tomorrow. Is it clear? Right? Are you getting that point? Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. Okay, fine. Perfect. So I'll end up the sessions. So we'll continue that that uh, data blending uh, in Tableau from tomorrow sessions. Okay. Okay, fine. So we can see to that from tomorrow. See you. Bye.